Morning everyone, happy Monday. I hope you're all well and enjoying your morning. Uh, I'm a little bit behind the door with this. A little bit, you know, out of the loop, so to speak, because I've only just seen the video with the voice notes that Joey Morris has released. Yeah, the Salford Poisoner. Uh, he released these voice notes yesterday, didn't he? I've only just seen them. Where Decker is talking about being the, uh, well, attempting to become the Tony Montana of Valium, of the Azipams, yeah? Decker's crude attempts to become a dealer. <laughs> and uh, his plans to flood the streets of Salford with uh, the Azipams. Not good. Not good. Uh, I mean, those voice notes that I've just listened to for Decker are very damning. Very damning indeed. He does sound like an utter, utter clown talking about setting up a drug dealing operation. Yeah. Silly. Very silly. But the most shocking thing for me about those voice notes was the way he talked about his friend Josh. I feel sorry for Josh. To be honest, after listening to them. I feel very sorry for the lad. I know we don't really know much about him. We've seen bits and pieces of him. Uh, but from what I've heard about this Josh, I think he is a nice, decent lad who's just, you know, sort of been tucked under by Decker. He's, he's, he's back the wrong horse. But he does seem like a nice lad. Uh, and how many times over the months, well, over the past year or so, have we heard Decker... Going on about, oh, you know, I'd always have Josh's back. He's the only lad I trust. I trust him with my life. I wouldn't trust anyone else with my business. Uh, he's my best friend. Only for those voice notes to come out yesterday and for us to hear Decker slagging him off. Dirty, mate. Very dirty. He's talking about Josh being useless, holding him back, being a useless business partner. And he's talking about cutting him out of the business and then giving the impression that he'd, he'd get this Joey Morris in to take Josh's place, who had only known for, what, a couple of weeks? Crazy. Crazy. Very slimy behaviour, that. Very slimy. Um, I wonder if uh, Josh has listened to these voice notes yet. He's bound to have done. And I wonder if he's been in contact with Decker since these voice notes have come to light. I wonder what that what that talk was like. I mean, surely now, I presume that this Josh will just sat Decker off. I mean, after hearing that, after hearing Decker slagging him off like that behind his back, surely he must be thinking, yeah, I'm not sticking by him anymore. Surely he must bid him off after that. I mean, to be fair to Joey Morris, he's only released these voice notes because for the past week, Deck has been accusing him of poisoning him, hasn't he? Yeah. So Joey's released these voice notes in a way to defend himself. So, yeah, I can't really blame him for that. But the way Deck is going on, desperate for diazepams, for these benzos, like a complete crackhead. Like a total addict. Man. He sounds really pathetic on it. Doesn't he? But yeah, like I said. Uh, those voice notes. Don't paint Decker in a good light whatsoever. They are damning. And. They have, I think, just totally destroyed the friendship between. Uh, between him and Josh. So. Uh, I think Decker's only friend at the minute. Is that big Tony that pops up in his lives? Is it? But yeah, just what he said. I do feel bad for Josh. Uh, I do feel bad for him. I feel sorry for him after hearing the way Decker was talking about him on those voice notes. And as for attempting to flood the streets of Salford with drugs, Decker. Bad. Very bad. Very bad, mate. Bad idea. Yeah, very scummy behaviour, that. Uh, like I said, these voice notes, very bad for you now. These are very bad for you. Right, guys, enjoy the rest of your Monday morning. Peace out.